Howdy everybody, this is Skater Dude. Everybody's been talking about Marvelous vs. DMP3, so I thought I'd put my two cents into it. So, the Marvelous protocol is an open standard. We've all been using it for a long time, and it's easy for us to understand how to use it. DMP3, on the other hand, is also open, but you got to pay them a little money so that you can uh, get into the, the committee and actually get to uh, see what the protocol is all about. Modbus is very efficient on a per message basis because overall it's got a small overhead to it. Uh, DMP on the other hand is supposedly even more efficient. Now the packet I believe is a little bigger but since it uses the concept report by exception built in it's easier for it to do that. In Modbus we pull the registers not by you know what's the priority of the data. On DMP3 they got these different classes and you put different data in different classes and that's how you pull the data so you can pull the more critical data more often and the non-critical less often so the Mobus data when it comes to the host machine that's where it gets the timestamp DNP on the other hand timestamps it at the device level which is nice because sometimes that's what you want to know is when did something go wrong or when did something happen was at the device level the programming needed to do the uh, same stuff as DNP in MABA, so you can do all that. The problem is you got to add some programming, which adds some memory. But on the DNP, the information is built in. I mean, that's the part of the protocol. It's all there. You don't have to do any programming to it. That's kind of nice. In MABA, the data is stored in registers. So, you know, we got the uh, call registers, we got the IOs, and all that stuff. In Modbus, they do it a little bit differently. They do it based on the points. Now, I kind of like the concept. It gets a little crazy, but I do like it. The biggest problem with Modbus is sometimes when I'm talking to my device, I lose communication. Well, during the time that I've lost my communication, I have no idea what the values are. So that can be an issue. Now, we can write program, and we can store it. But again, that takes memory. The DMP, on the other hand, They've got it in the protocol. It's all there. You don't got to do no programming. Everything's built in. So the best part about DNP is if you lose communication and when you connect, you get all the data that you didn't know because it's right back from the device or back to you. That's a pretty neat thing. Now this screen ain't exactly right in terms of the size and everything, but to give you a little concept here. So mind buzz, what you do is you say, hey, you got any analog data for me? And the device says, yep, here's what I got. And it gives you everything. You know, that kind of goes on through every little thing. Every device it goes to, it gets the analog data, the digital data, collects all the information, brings it back to you. DNP, on the other hand, acts a little differently. What it's got is it says, hey, man, you got something for me? And the device says, no, I got nothing for you. And it goes on to the next one. It says, hey, you got something for me? And the device may say, yeah, I got some information for you. And then hands it over. So now that I keep on going through all the field devices out there. Now, if you look at the messages, the size of them, the Modbus is always big. The DMP is smaller because it ain't got to talk so much. It only gives you what has changed. That's nice. So it actually cuts down the traffic on the network. Even though DNP's got a bigger packet, it's actually smaller in terms of the overall picture of polling devices. So that's the big difference. I hope this video kind of helps you out. And I'll try to do some more research and try to talk about some more of the DNP stuff. But this is what I have for right now. Hope you all enjoy it. Take care.